It is one of Ohio's most visible programs that promises to use every dollar to fight breast cancer. But a Five on Your Side investigation tonight reveals why questions are now being raised about where that money is going. Investigator Ron Regan joins us tonight with what he's uncovered. Ron? Well, Danita, we're talking about those special Ohio license plates. You see that raise money for breast cancer victims. And the organization that gets all that cash says it may not be going to women who need it. And we found no one in state government actually checks how your money's being spent. People gave it willingly for a cause, and it should go to that cause. She's one of 8,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer every year in Ohio. Maybe you lose your job. Maybe you're not uh, physically strong enough to care for yourself or your children. But a Five on Your Side investigation has found a program that promises help for cancer survivors admits thousands of dollars could be missing. What were red flags to you? Well, there were a number of red flags over a period of time where I was concerned about the way the money was being spent. You see these special license plates everywhere. For every plate sold, $25 goes to a special fund to fight breast cancer. That's more than $347,000 in the last five years. And it's all turned over to the Breast Cancer Fund of Ohio. A nonprofit that promises 100% goes for things like transportation for appointments, special meals, and rental assistance. Ellen Connolly is the board's president. I've been on the media, you know, asking people to get the plate because the money stays right here in Ohio and helps ca breast cancer patients. And now you're finding out. And now I'm finding it's not. For example, we obtained the fund's 2008 tax return. It claims to have received only $79,000 that year. But records we obtained from the Department of Motor Vehicles shows it turned over more than $94,000 the same year. $40,000 alone went for professional fees and not to women fighting cancer. And there's other questionable spending. We there's some, one really unusual. Well, we had some pink cost. back scratchers with um, uh, Breast Cancer Fund of Ohio, and I remember seeing them. Um, and back I, scratchers. Right, and, and they were they were a nice little gimmick. We passed them out, you know, to people, and then you know sometimes people would kick in a dollar or whatever. What did that cost? About five thousand dollars. I find out today. Five thousand dollars. Right, five thousand four hundred and some dollars. As a result, Connolly filed these complaints with both the Ohio Attorney General and the Summit County prosecutor. She's requesting investigations into the fund's former treasurer and how the funds were dispersed. Rachel Kirk resigned as treasurer last week. Has the money been spent properly in your view? I not delivered to say anything. She has not been charged with any wrongdoing. I resigned and I don't, you know, I... I don't know of anybody accusing me of anything. Meanwhile, cancer survivor Brenda Pillar is one of thousands who paid an extra 25 bucks for her license plate. In good faith, we just believe that these dollars are going where they're supposed to. Inez Rosa is a cancer survivor who works with a breast awareness program through Metro Health Medical Center. We need education to save women's lives. I mean, it's all about saving lives. And Cindy's another cancer survivor who just last week thought of buying the plate to support other women. The concerns with benefits and, you know, insurance and child care if you have kids, it, there's just, it's, it's overwhelming. And the Breast Cancer Fund of Ohio told me it's never once been asked by anyone at the state level to account for a single penny of your money. By contrast, in Florida, groups earning cash through those special plates are required by law to furnish a yearly audit at their expense before they get a dime. And by the way, you paid more than $3 million last year for all kinds of special license plates. We'll continue to follow where your money's going and tell you if Ohio makes changes in its program. I'm investigator Ron Regan.